There's a saying by a philosopher that goes, if I have done or seen anything at all, I have done so standing on the shoulders of giants. And I have had some giants in my life. I have had mentors and advisors all along the way. People positioned in my life who supported me, who uplifted me. It was what they allowed me to believe was possible. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. This is a quote to keep in mind. You don't choose the times you live in, but you choose who you want to be, and you choose how you think. I was raised, I like to say chaotically lucky, by uh, my mom, who's a single mom, and she was very adamant, you're gonna get that education. And for someone who made below the poverty line, did not finish school herself. And I think she was that determined all more because she saw how hard and difficult it was without the education. Thoughts, responses? You can't control your circumstances always, but like you can I started to realize like, how lucky how I had been. Statistically speaking, given my ethnicity and race, I was not supposed to make it out of this neighborhood. I wasn't even supposed to graduate high school. And here I am on this track to graduate, go to college, yes. and do whatever I want. And it hit me. I need to take advantage of it. <laughs> the individual expressing gratitude. Just by expressing it, happiness raises 10 times as much as if you didn't express it. I am what I call a first-generation college student, grad school student, and a first-generation teacher. And I teach high school at Summit Prep Charter High School. Eyes closed. A deep breath in. This year, now I'm teaching a new course called Habits, Community, and Culture, where we focus on supporting students in understanding, practicing, and developing their emotional intelligence skills through social emotional learning. That is what intersectionality is about. It's about taking a lens of where are people's identities crossing that are causing them to have compounded experiences of discrimination and oppression. Most of my teaching day is supporting students in these kind of hands-on way. And that involves mindfulness practices. It involves helping ourselves get organized, things like relationship building. So my hope in all of that is that after a year in the class, students don't need me to help them figure out how to solve the problems in their community. I'm not a psychologist, I'm, I'm just a teacher who understands that this world is difficult sometimes. Thank you for your conversations today. Be mindful of the announcements that we made around Wednesday and all that jazz. Good luck, I love you. And so my primary defense is to tell a kid and mean it that I love you, I see you in all the years of pain that come with you, and I will hold space for you every single time. And I refuse to be a bystander in your life. I refuse to see you as a dot or a data point. I see you. The mentors I had along the way that said, it seems impossible now, but I'm gonna help you remove as many barriers as I can. And I'm gonna step away. And I'm gonna let you do the great work that I already see is what's inside you. I hope I can get out of my kids' way more. That's my hope. Thank you.